Hey guys, Peter here to do an album review today. I'm here to tell you all about Finster Forest's latest album, Zerful, out August 2nd on Napalm Records. The album has five tracks, an hour and 19 minutes in length. I know, an hour and 19 minutes in length. This is the band's fifth full-length album, by the way. Going back to that point, the shortest song on this record, just to give you guys an idea, it's eight minutes long, just over the eight minute mark. The longest song on this record is just over 36 minutes. That's the kind of record you have on your hands here. This album is an absolute juggernaut it, it, from sound and vocal perspective, because to me, those are the two main components surrounding this record. This album mixes a bunch of different genres. It mixes black metal with atmospheric metal, with folk metal, with pagan metal, with post-black metal. There's just a lot of different influences at play. And to me, that was one of the key fundamental aspects of this record in order for them to be able to construct an album that has this kind of structure and that that has this kind of complex song structure because there's to me there's two structures to this record the overall album structure and then each song specifically the only way you create songs that are this dynamic that are this fluid that are this long is by having a combination of different factors that allows you to create different momentums within the song that allows to give the song different breathing spaces, different climatic moments, different drawn out uh, portions of the song that just really engages the listener and you never feel like you're uh, that, that you're just treading water with any single track. You need to feel engaged, you need to feel connected with the track. This album does that with every single song because of the structure and how they build the songs and the different components that they use to engage the listener at every single turn. To me, the way they did it was obviously with a blend of genres, like I mentioned before, and then that blend of genres drives to the first point, which is the sound, and then obviously to the second point, which to me is the vocals. I'm gonna go on to the sound first. The sound on this record, based on those genres, that drives what the sound is going to be. But the overall sound of this record is absolutely robust. This is a record that's robust in sound, that has a robust structure and overall great atmosphere from beginning all the way to the end. The, the sound on the record is absolutely perfect. The blending and styles works to perfection. When you add in the orchestrations that they arranged for this record, that added different elements that they could work with to give each song its own unique dynamic, its own unique feel and, and overall atmosphere. That to me is very important in order to keep the listener engaged. On the other side of things, you have the vocals. The vocal tracks on this record are phenomenal from all perspectives because I like the fact that they included different uh, approaches, different styles, if you will, to the vocal delivery. You have clean vocals, you have choirs, you have harsh vocals. To me, having those styles of vocals, it's really important in order to be able to get the most out of each song and also be able to use those styles and different portions of the song in order to get the most out of each single piece and then overall build a song that really allows you to, to stay connected all the way through. So to me, these are the main elements of this record and these are the main elements that make a record like this work. I just have to say one more thing before I go on to the tracks, which is it's not easy for a band to put on songs that are this long, specifically a song that goes over the 36 minute mark without being extremely talented, without knowing exactly what they want and where they, where they are and more important, where they're going. To me, that is absolutely fundamental and that became obvious with this record. These guys are extremely talented. These songs are not just thrown together. They're not just long for the sake of being long. They're really well crafted from the first note to the last note in order to, to stay connected, to never lose track of themselves and to really give the listener a sense of beginning, middle, and end. Now, as far as favorite songs are concerned, I'm gonna start with the first opening track, which is Foot. It's it's a great opening track. And the reason why I say this is a great opening track is because it really sets the stage for the rest of the album. It gives you an idea of what the rest of the album is gonna sound like, it's gonna feel like. So this, to me, is the perfect glimpse into the, uh, the overall feel, vibe, structure, and sound of the record. This song has a it has great guitar riff. It really mixes darkness and despair with that guitar riff in the background. Sometimes the, the guitar riff gets gets overshadowed by everything else that's going around, either be the orchestrations or the vocals, uh, but uh, folk elements as well. There's some folk elements that bring some brightness to this song. But when you look at the overall uh, underlying guitar riff, it's very dark, has a, a little bit of a dark and despair feel to it. 
overall powerful opening track that great has a great methodic approach to it. It really weaves itself all the way from the beginning all the way to the end. And it's a song that just has a, a pure sense of continuity and a song that really represents the name of the song well. This is absolutely furious. It's a song that has a lot of power, has a lot of emotion, that it feels very strong. Great opening track. Next one is Zerfall, which is the name of the record. A song that has a little bit of a folk pagan vibe to it. I just, I just really feel, feel that way about the way this song really comes at, at the listener. This is a song that has a great versus uh, against chorus dynamic. It's like. Two, two moving pieces that this song has. Uh, I, I really feel this way about the way the track comes at you. It's just very noticeable and how they broke those two points apart to really create an up and down feel to the song. The clean vocals in the chorus with a few layers to it, with a few background vocals to it, just adds an incredible melodic vibe to the song. And, and then it, it, in the chorus as well, the vocals change a little bit. Uh, to, for, to a full choir as well. So there's a lot of deliveries coming at you. There's a lot of changes. There's a lot of things, a lot of moving parts. Uh, it, the, the verses has a little bit of a, a heavier, harsher approach, if you will, more melodic in the chorus. So I really like that dynamic. This song overall is really about the vocals and about what they've done with the vocals on the overall record. This song really combines harsh, clean choirs. And it, it really is a showcase uh, of the overall vocal work on the record. This song is really a glimpse of that. And I really feel that the passionate vocals really deliver a lot of emotion on this song. It really drives the song home. It's the it, it's the perfect match to how uh, passionate the music sounds behind it. So the two of them really go well together. The choirs on this specific track really give the song an anthem vibe. It really has that feel to it. It, it makes the song feel a lot bigger, a lot thicker. Love this track. Last but not least, Vilton Brand. Uh, this song is heavy and powerful at the same time. It really feels, the moment you start listening to this song, you feel like you're watching a scene from Lord of the Rings and there's like this army, this giant army uh, approaching through a forest. And you can't see necessarily the army, but you can hear the noise that they're making walking through that forest, reaching wherever it is that you are and, and that fear that starts to build in within. that This is the overall vibe that this song has. I absolutely love it. I love the blend of, 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 of vocal ranges in this song. Once again, another song where they use choirs, they use clean vocals, they use harsh vocals. And I really felt that for this specific track, that really gave the song an opportunity to change momentum, to change dynamic, to go into different directions, to try different things. Really enjoyed that. Also the folk elements that they sprinkle throughout the song and allow the song to have a little bit more atmosphere to give a, a, a blanket of atmosphere all overall over the track and that to me was really a, a nice little touch it just brightens some spots because this is a song that's very very thick very robust and it could become a little bit overbearing at times so adding those folk elements here and there throughout the track really lightened the mood in certain points it really allowed the song to pick up a little bit of, of, of sunshine if you will because overall i felt the song was was dark without it all right guys this is it this is zerfall out august 2nd from finster forest uh on napalm records let me know your thoughts on the band on the singles that are out and on the overall album i really feel like this is a really extraordinary album by this band something that I hadn't seen before, not only from them, but from any other band releasing a record this year. This to me is one of those that really sets itself apart from everything else around it. All right, guys, looking forward to hear your thoughts, your comments in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. I always read those and I always get back to you. Take care, guys.